Hello everyone, welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel some series that is running into my channel. So friends, from today onwards in this season we are going to move on to some complex formulas of Microsoft Excel that are going to held on base of complex formulas and nested formulas in this season. So today in this video we are going to learn how to use the sum if function in a three different worksheet to get a summarized value of your data. To learn more briefly watch this video till the end and you will find the download link of this excel workbook which I am using in this video into my description box so please check it out. So here in this worksheet you can find that I have three different sheets that is sheet 1, sheet 2 and sheet 3 and one main sheet that is called as summarized data where our data value will be summarized into this worksheet right and you can notice that I have similar tables into every sheets so to conditionally sum identical ranges that exist in separate worksheets in all one formula you can use the sum if function using with the indirect function wrapped in sum product function so remember that if you use only sum if function to get this summarized data into this worksheet you will simply get an hashtag value error into your worksheet right so here you can see that I'm going to use the sum if function into this cell that is called C9 cell and I want here the amount value should be total amount value of every worksheet into this workbook right so here at first we need to start with the sum product function look at here carefully equals to sum product then here I need to use the sum if function sum if and here I need to use the indirect function now look at here carefully at first I need to insert a double quote then a single quote then again a double quote right I will simply describe this to you later in this video then insert an amplification symbol now here I need to insert those columns or rows or cells where your sheet names are included so in my case this is from A2 to A4 then again insert an ampersand symbol now again we need to insert a double quote a single quote then exclamatory sign then again double quote now again insert an ampersand symbol then into double quote we need to select the range and in every of my sheet so at first look at here in the D cell that means in the D columns I have the item names which will be included into criteria and into the E column we have got the cost cell that will be our actual lookup value right. So into my summarized data I need to use this function ampersand symbol then here I need to select that range that should contain the criteria after inserting an ampersand symbol you need to insert a double quote then select that column where your criteria should be included right so in my case the included criteria is from the D4 cell to D you can maximize it as your database right so I am inserting as D4 colon D10 right so it will search this criteria along with the d4 to d10 cell so close the double quotes close the parentheses then insert a comma now it is asking for a criteria and where our criteria is based on our criteria is based on this b9 cell i have selected that insert a comma now it is asking for a sum range and what our sum range will be here again we need to insert the indirect function so use the indirect function here again open double quote insert a single quote and again open double quote insert an ampersand symbol then here select the sheet names again insert an ampersand symbol double quote single quote then an exclamatory sign 
again double quote then again insert an ampersand symbol now here we need to insert the sum range and if you remember that we have the cost cell that is into the E column right so I am inserting simply E4 colon E10 cell so it will search and sum the value of E4 to E10 cell range only so close the brackets and hit the enter look at here you will get an error free result so if you type here like BB it will show you the result according to your sheet and this will not show you any of errors so let me check how this formula actually works here we have used the indirect and sum if function and along with the sum product function to build references that Excel will interpret correctly we need to concatenate the sheet names to the ranges we need to work with and then use the indirect to get Excel to recognize them correctly so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video I'll come back soon with another interesting video till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing